Welcome back to the Super 16 Dream Team Showcase, sponsored by the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport. It's time now for the wide receivers, and we bring in Reese Gahan from Riverside. Congratulations. Thank you. So your head coach, Harry Armstrong, kind of surprises you. He doesn't tell you why, but he says, just come <laughs> to the airport today. Uh, well, now you know you're part of the Dream Team. What mm -hmm. does that mean to you? It means a lot, you know, that this great honor. Uh, I would just like to thank my coaches, the community, my family, all my teammates. It's just a great honor to be here. Well, it's your first winning season since 2018 at Riverside. I know it's something that was a heavy goal of your team. What did it mean to you to actually have that winning season for the first time in your high school career? Uh, it meant everything. And you're a thousand yard receiver, 20 touchdowns this year. What was it like for you to kind of be the focal point of the offense this year? Uh, it was awesome, you know. I uh, get to play a couple different positions on offense, you know. Uh, very fun. Uh, I have a great quarterback, Chase Sidonio, who was able to get me those touchdowns. How'd you grow as a receiver? Like, I have all three coaches have been there since my the start. They bought me in. Uh, they always work on my route running, my catching, my hand-eye coordination, you know. Uh, remembering the plays, keep studying. Congratulations, best of luck to Thank you. you. He's Reese Gahan. He is a dream team wide receiver. The next receiver to join our star-studded lineup, North Schuylkill's Joey Flail. So versatile this season, six rushing touchdowns in addition to receiving. So what allowed you this year just to be a versatile guy that can be useful all over the field? Well, over the offseason, I can I just really trained on my speed, agility, stuff like that. And our offense really set me up for what I did. As a receiver, what's the moment you know you have the, the corner beat and they're intimidated just by knowing you know all your stats everything that you've had you know leading up to those big games this season usually i can really tell how they, like, they play on me if they're a few yards off of me i know like they're really not trying to get beat but uh, if they're pressed up on me then that's when i really give it to them <laughs> all right well we hopefully have a few more uh defensive backs to beat next season Joey. <laughs> Now those guys know your number after that run, but tell us why 32, why is that important to you? Uh, my brother was 32 before me. He was a running back at North School Goal, and I've been 32 my entire life. So you gotta live up to the legend of, of your older brother. Congratulations on joining the Dream Team. What does it mean to you? It means a lot, actually. Last year I remember watching on TV, and I made it one of my main goals to get this year, definitely. And I feel happy to actually be on it this year. And what are your goals next year? You're a senior, so one of the team leaders. What are your goals going into your senior season? I just want to be able to help the team as much, much as I can. And you certainly do that, finding the end zone all the ways you do. Thank you. Thank you. Our next wide receiver, Ross Iyer from Muncie. Congratulations on making the dream team. Thank you, sir. You're also an all-state selection. You, you did that the last couple of years on defense, but this is your first year as an all-state wide receiver. What was working so well for you on offense this season? Uh, well, I felt like we really opened up our playbook this year to try to get guys open. And I feel like a big part of that, getting the guys open, was our quarterback, Branson. Kind of made more opportunities for everybody else because he could scramble out of the pocket and hit you on the run. And he could throw the ball 10, 15, 20 yards further this year. So it helped for all of our quicker guys to get downfield. He could just throw it up there and let you run out and get it. So I think Branson putting the work in and us opening up the playbook kind of helped all of our receivers get more this year. What was it like playing alongside your cousin, not just this year, but your entire career? I mean, <clears throat> we've played together our whole lives, so it was kind of like a, we have that bond thing that not a lot of people have. And uh, we've had it since the day we met each other. And he's a little bit older than me, so he got to meet me first, I guess. But since then, we've just been inseparable. I think the biggest jump for me, receiver-wise, from this year to last year, was definitely um, route running and running crisper routes and getting more open and using my speed across the field on post routes and drags and slants just to try to get some separation from the defender and just let my legs do the rest. Oh, certainly on full display this year, Ross Iyer, dream team wide receiver from Muncie. A receiver we had to add to this team, Jalen Andrews. What enabled you for Loyal Stock Township to just get open and always be a guy that your quarterback can count on? Throughout this summer, you know, being Flea always keeping us on track, coming in early mornings and working out. What did Davion really add to the passing game to be able to allow you guys to get open? Um, he added a lot, you know, having a great factor like that, a good strong running back. You know, you, you come into the game deciding if you want to take away the run or the pass, and with our team, we're lucky enough to have, be able to accomplish both. Now, how'd you come back and also be able to play defense and get three interceptions this season? Um, you know, I just kind of filled in a role wherever we needed. Some of our key starters went down, so wherever they need me to put me, I just filled in that role. 
And what's the challenge for you next year, stepping forward as a team leader and being a senior? Um, I look forward to that, you know, being one of the older guys. I've kind of always been one of the younger guys on the team. I'm, I'm very excited to be one of the leaders of this upcoming season. Overall, looking back, what's it mean to know that you made a dream team? Um, it feels good, you know. I've been through with this so much, you know, with my freshman year not even getting any play time to my junior year being one of the top receivers. Uh, it feels very good. And now you got that trophy. Go from no playing time to having a trophy to hang up for all everybody to see. Congratulations. Yes, Thank you. Our next dream team wide receiver is Carson Persing from Danville. Congratulations on Thank making you. the dream team. But not only have you made the dream team, from all the players in District 4 and 2 and 11, you are our Offensive Player of the Year. Congratulations. What does that honor mean to you? I mean, it means a lot. I've put a lot of work in in the off season with all my friends and teammates and stuff to make a senior season like what we had. It's successful and something to remember. And to be honored like that, it's, it's a big special moment for me. Nearly 1,700 all-purpose yards, just a dominant wide receiver. When you look back at your senior season, what are you going to remember? Um, probably just having fun. We won a lot of games. I mean, it's one of the most successful teams we've had in program history. And to win three straight district championships for our school is something that's never been done. 53 catches, 1,122 yards. That's 21 yards per reception. That's insane. What was the kind of chemistry you had with your quarterback, Zach Gordon? I mean, our chemistry goes way back. I mean, we've played together all different sports since we were seven, eight years old. So when you go on the field, it's pretty much second nature. And just to put the extra work in the off season as a team that we did, just to get as many reps as possible really helps down the stretch of the season. For you, to be on this team twice and to get the Offensive Player of the Year, how special is that? It's very special. I mean, last year, getting the award was a big honor, and I wanted to prove myself and work harder to make sure I was on this. There's a bunch of good kids in the area, obviously, so to be honored with the Offensive Player of the Year for the second time in a row, it's just an honor of all the hard work and all the good teammates and successful teams that we've had, so that's a big time. Congratulations on being our Offensive Player of the Year. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. The Dream Team Player of the Year is up next.